Hey rollers, I want to assure you that there are no dumb questions about Jiu Jitsu. Well, except maybe these five and a bunch of others. Like it or not, Jiu Jitsu is becoming more mainstream. Lots of people are hearing about it and there's even videos out there to help people learn how to pronounce it. Jiu Jitsu. I will repeat it more slower. Jiu Jitsu. More slower? Well, now I've got more questions. To the casual observer, it looks like people are just rolling around in strange outfits on the ground. And some people are not helping with the way they describe jujitsu. What it is, is I show up to a gym in pajama pants and a bathrobe. And, and a much smaller, much fitter man, also in pajama pants and a bathrobe, tries to put his crotch right on my mouth for an hour. And I gotta not let him. And that's the whole workout. If you don't know what Brazilian jujitsu is, it's a lot like regular jujitsu, except there's no hair here whatsoever, you guys. I guess I understand why people still have questions. But now I'm going to count down five of the dumbest. Number five, does BJJ actually work? Well, that might seem like a legitimate question, but for many of us, that was answered about 30 years ago at UFC 1. The success of jiu-jitsu athletes in MMA has been impressive, and most fighters include at least some jiu-jitsu in their training. I get a personal answer to this question every time I get tossed around by a smaller opponent. Yes, it works. <laughs> Ask Dave Herman. I know my opponent's a jujitsu black belt. I don't think jujitsu really even works. Even though it won't make you the ultimate fighter capable of destroying highly trained opponents or multiple attackers with weapons, consider the side benefits as described by Master Ken. The first move that you learn in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is to run up to your opponent and wrap your arms around them as tightly as possible. And while this will make you a terrible street fighter, you will get compliments on your cuddling. Number four, do you like rolling around with sweaty guys? This one isn't a real question, it's just a projection of insecurities. If you see something suggestive when you see two guys try to strangle each other or rip each other's limbs off, then clearly you're looking for that. Enough said. Number three, is that like karate? No. No, it is not like karate. It irritates me when I tell people exactly what it is and they respond with Hey, you like karate too! I guess they're both martial arts, but so is sumo wrestling and people don't ask me if I do that. I like Phoebe's response. What kind of karate is that? No kind. Of course, when people base their knowledge of martial arts on what they can remember from Karate Kid, then the next logical dumb question is Number two, do you have your black belt? Hey, what kind of belt do you have? What do you like, a, a third degree black belt? The blackness of my belt is like the inside of a coffin on a moonless night. In this question, there's an underlying suggestion that number one, belt progression is quick, and number two, belt progression is the goal. Neither of these is accurate in my experience. I've had people hear that I do jujitsu and then tell me that their 12 year old nephew has a black belt. Maybe it's just more irritating than dumb. Number one, aren't you too old? Because you're too old. You're too old. I'm too old for that kind of crap. They're all too old. If I could do it all over again, I would start training jujitsu much sooner. I was 39 years old when I went to my first class, and that was about 10 years ago. Some of you math guys have figured out that that means that I'm almost 50. When people say that I'm too old to do jujitsu, what I really hear them saying is, You're too old to be happy. But I'm not. The fact that I'm still doing it proves to me that I'm not too old. And instead of listening to guys my age tell me that I'm too old to do things, I'd rather get inspiration from guys like this. Here is a 64-year-old man who has smoother movements than me. I'm sure he would avoid the role of taming a spazzy muscle head, but in normal training, he can probably hang with the 20-somethings. I aspire to this. Not this! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think I missed any dumb questions, or if you disagree with what I've said, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.